Hello beautiful Pisces! So, welcome back to your extended for Friday, June 11th. Um, so, we were talking about the health this morning. I'm going to push these cards over here because we're going to do the extended. While I'm doing that, I'm going to let you know that there are different ways that you can support this wonderful channel. By being here and putting up with the ads and subscribing, well, you're doing a lot already. Um, the other stuff is in the description box. There is Patreon, which is on a donation purpose. I do post other things as well, and once a month I will be asking if you have any questions, you know, not about, you know, the meaning of life or anything, but if you have any, you know, questions here and there, I can probably help you with that, and that should be a fun interaction between all of us. Um, the donation levels are 3, 5, and 7. And it's just really show appreciation and help out this channel, okay? Um, there is a one time, you can give one time through a PayPal link that is there as well. All the cards that I use that are Amazon friendly, I do put them uh, available in every reading. So you can purchase them and we get a little something for them. I have an Etsy shop. Uh, I also have beautiful gratitude journals that are available now, and uh, if you're interested, it's all in the description box, you guys, okay? So, we're talking about healing, we're talking about getting balanced perspective in everything, Pisces, okay? And deciding whether we want it to be, um, wait a minute, I'll see it right here, this energy or that one, okay? So, it's all in perspective. Figure out your why, figure out what you want to do with your time, okay? We also had the energy of the three and the six going towards the nine, which is this one that you want, not the other, okay? We're all transitioning into stability. It's time to question everything that we've learned living in these energies and figuring out what we needed to figure out. So I'm going to get some more cards. I'm going to get this time the colors. Violet. Violet flame. That's all I keep thinking in my head. Create a balanced life. Absolutely. You had the temperance card this morning. This totally applies. Create a balanced life. And guess what? What's that? 4 plus 5 is what? It's what? It's 9. 9 is divine. So right away, I really want you to focus on getting to that happy place, to figuring out what you need to figure out Pisces. It's very, very important right now. Okay? What a great card to begin with. It's lovely. It's lovely. Let's take from the magical herbs. Absolutely. I love this. Uh, it's eucalyptus, I do believe. No. No. I need my glasses, you guys. I'm old and the writing is, is, is. And some of you say, I know you wear glasses. Yeah, I wear glasses to see close up because at this age it happens, you know. Um, so it is Ella Campaign. Never heard of it. Uh, it looks a little bit like part, I don't know, part dandelion, part medigadiet in French as well. But anyway, it's cool. I'm going to look it up so that you, 
you know, progress. 29, number 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11. So, it's a perennial native of Europe and Asia and grows five feet in height. And the entire plant is down covered and the green leaves have tooted edges. The flowers are bright yellow and look similar to sunflowers. That, that's what I was thinking too. Okay, so this is it's time to take responsibility and also maybe a period of hard work. Dedication is needed at the moment or an increase in your commitment. We were talking about that too yesterday, okay? To be committed. You're being told that you're on the right path and doing things the right way. Absolutely. Okay. Go with the tried and tested way rather than changing plans or approaches. Be careful with promises and commitments you might be asked to make at the moment and be sure you can keep them. Make sure you complete any tasks or assignments you're involved with. And I do believe that Pisces, um, yeah, the, um, they're asking you to take a good look at the why here. This thing that we were looking at, okay, this morning, okay, make sure that you are doing this work, that you're figuring this out. It's so very important. Don't drop out of anything, but make sure to be, I, I, I feel that it's more commitments to yourself, Pisces, okay? Work at helping yourself and increasing your health, wealth, abundance, knowledge of things, right? Right, seeing beyond. And again, three plus six is nine. And, and these are cards we've never had before. So this is definitely showing me that we're going on a new path. I haven't seen any of these cards. Some of them, even this Y card. So this is like a brand new reading. This holistic card, I've never seen it before in any of your readings. These are new cards to me that are coming out. Okay, you have had them in your personal readings, but I've never seen them in your readings. So this is brand new. This is brand spanking new. Okay. So I love it because in this book, it's like a whole separate section. And look at the first word. What have we been working with in the last couple of years? A uh, couple of years, a couple of weeks. Freudian slip? Meaningful? I don't know. Intuition, vision, imagination. Knowing, perception, mental states. I love that. Okay, so this is vision. The capacity to imagine something, to look beyond the material, beyond the obvious, the realm of the transpersonal, options and possibilities, getting out of your own way, discarding your projected outcomes. Okay, do you consider things only within the framework of what you already know, or can you allow yourself to see beyond into the vastness of potential? Which is funny because this one said, you know, just keep with what you know. <laughs> and this one is saying, look beyond. So, uh, take it for what you will. I, I feel more of the look beyond. I feel the purples here beckoning me. Progress is good, but I would say to look beyond. Okay? Yeah. And even the picture, it's got a ladder in it. So climb, okay? Climb, Pisces. Figure it out. Just be truthful to yourself. This is what I feel. It's like, make sure that you're making progress inside of yourself. Don't delude yourself. Don't cause illusions to yourself. In other words, don't, in this case, don't go beyond. In your dreams, go beyond. But in being truthful to yourself, go with the stuff that's tried and tested, is what I'm getting. God, you guys are confusing sometimes. Okay, there are two ways to view the world and co-create with it. One is from a face value perspective, what you see is what you get. The second is allowing your imagination to see beyond what something is right now and move into a place that doesn't yet exist in the material world. In this cosmic playground of possibilities, you see into a future where anything you imagine has the potential to become real, okay? If you use your imagination faithfully and consciously, avoiding the traps of fearful protection, and drama, 
You can connect to any reality you truly want to experience. When you open yourself even further, you're often gifted with a divine vision. As a practice, you can reimagine that vision over and over to strengthen it. As you channel these visions through you, you become a superconductor to for the world. Okay. There. There. Okay. I feel these cards in this one. I feel that you're putting the key in in your visions. You're letting your your chess pieces to take flight. Okay. What you have been working on is taking flight. Okay. Today know that your vision, what you imagine forming in the invisible, will be delivered in the material. Don't worry about the timing of things that is in the hands of the universe. Your job is to continue to imagine. Take a few steps forward and imagine some more. The universe's job is to make it real. What a fabulous partnership. So there you go, Pisces. I love that. Seeing beyond. You have the violet flame. Okay. Remember that. Create a balanced life. Oh, okay. So, take some of what you already have in place, what works, keep, what doesn't get rid of, and then put some of the new stuff in, okay? So, this is this is what I was getting. I said, my God, these are completely different. Like, this is kind of two different messages for me, and it won't let me let it go. But create a balanced life. Keep what works, get rid of what doesn't, and go for new things that will work. That's going to be in your new goodie bag to use when you need. It's all about balance, okay? It's not one way, it's not the other. It's about both. Balance, 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 balance. So that's why it's a contradiction in terms. You're going to see that in your life is now what I'm seeing. Why did you guys make this so complicated for me? So let's get some soul cards here. All right. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. Okay, so I see a lot here in the soul card. First of all, I see a sword right here. I see the ace of sword, sharp focus coming in. I see being broken open. I see the fire energy, the sun glowing, and it's happiness. I see hands being open in learning, in apprenticeship. There's a lot coming in in this card. It almost feels a little like a tower too, because look at all this energy. It all looks like um, a big a big lightning strike or a big electrical feel coming in. So this has done a lot. And I feel that this is you standing around going, okay, what do I do now? You put your hands out going, what am I, what am I gonna do now? What am I supposed to be doing now? And that's exactly what you're doing, okay? You have to see beyond. You have to work this. All I hear is work it, Pisces, work it. You can do it, work it. You can work this into your best um, benefit, your best interest, you can get to where you need to go. You have the tools and you have the ability, okay? And the other thing, I know this is a holistic card, but look at that. Look at this. Okay, look at the colors. Look at the colors. The colors are really like hitting me in the face. I also see uh, the wings again on the chest piece, the wings on this, okay? You have to work it all together. You have to find the balance in everything. This is all coming together. Even your Y card has the uh, energy color of orange coming in, so. All right, oh, here's that isolation card, right. Okay, so let's get some more here. Wow, look at all these. Okay, so these had already come out this morning. 
I do believe the page. Let me see here. Let me see. Let me see. Yep. The page of wands had already come out. Let me see here. Let me see if the page of... I thought I remember the page of pentacles, but I could be wrong. Nope. He did. He came out. This is the second time. So. These are coming out as reminders. Okay. That there's a lot of new coming in. These pages are all about new stuff. New learnings, new teachings, uh, new ideas, new situations coming in. I'm feeling with the Four of Pentacles is maybe you're going to feel a little bit out of the situation because of all this newness, okay? Or it may have put you out a little bit, a little bit out of control, a little bit insecure, okay? This is also the card of insecurity. So you may feel a lot of anxiety, that Nine of Swords, okay? But they really want you to embrace this new thing and and bring it balance okay but take care of your health okay because if you let it imbalance you the way it has been it's gonna make you feel worse Pisces and that's not a good thing okay so balance it out you're gonna have to balance it out there's gonna be a lot of new stuff coming in but it's exciting okay write it down keep track of it this is stuff that you may have dismissed this is stuff that you may not have even thought of. Maybe it wasn't even in your purview is what I'm getting from them. Maybe it wasn't even, you hadn't even taken or paid attention to any of this up until now. But now you are, you're looking at it and you're going, why didn't I ever think of that before? Why didn't I think of that before? The queen of thought, the queen of emotions. It's leaving you a little bit weird but it's giving you great big opportunity, okay? Why didn't I think about it? Your emotions are feeling unbalanced, but this is all progress, and this is a night of progress. Underneath this progress card, he is the loyal, dependable, progressful knight. He is the one who's going to give you sturdy and long-lasting um, success, okay? He's like the giver of the knights, okay? He can look at something and go, hmm, how do I turn that into a can opener? And he can do it, anything. He'll turn a screw into a can opener. No time flat. And this is that kind of energy. This is all of these energies, everything that's been going on, this is what it's been bringing in for you, Pisces. I kind of, I, I did, you see my hands are a little bit dark. I did do some edging, so... If you're going, what's wrong with your hands, Jane? It's the color. It's the color I've been putting on the cards. No worries. My hands aren't turning blue. The blood is still circulating. Okay, you guys. So that is great. It's already a wonderful way of thinking about it. So make sure that you uh, really focus on this uh, energy of mind and emotions. Be, uh, be strong within yourself, Pisces, especially that Queen of Cups. You can do it. You can tap into that emotional balance. You have it within you, okay? You can go, okay, that's enough, and I'm going to be Zen right here, and I'm going to use my mind as a great tool that it is. I'm going to use those emotions, and I'm going to do real progress on this brand new journey of all these new ideas, okay? Don't go in fear. Don't go in stress. Don't tap into her or this energy, okay? Tap into the other one. Tap into uh, figuring out where you're going, the chess pieces. Tap into this nine of pentacles. Get that energy going and working for you, okay? All right, stability came out again, okay? Again, look at this, okay? And a completion. There's the world card underneath that one. You're getting double cards here, okay? It's, it's no surprise. It's always the same with Pisces. We always do the same thing, don't we? Well, at least my readings do. 
they want to make sure I got the right message and I'm giving the right message and it is the right message. This is going to give you great security. I love this because I'm going to put the I'm going to put this card with it because it is a chess game. In one of the decks, I think it's a lightseer. The emperor is actually holding a chess piece in his hand. This is what this is. You're playing chess and you're doing it with yourself, okay? There's a lot to learn, there's a lot to figure out, but you're going to do it. That's not a problem, right? There's that nine of wands. There's that perseverance, um, that wounded energy, that energy of, oh my God, I've been through so much. Um, remember, there's been, there was a lot of healing, okay? Don't give up, but make sure to take time to heal yourself here. Make sure to take time to help yourself out here, okay? The King of Swords, a mastermind, right? But a mastermind who can cause this stuff, okay? Be the queen, don't be the king. Don't be too intense. Be intense enough, but not too intense in your thinking. So that you're cornering yourself in a uh, stressful situation or a stressful way of thinking. Magician, okay? Again, all the energies are coming in. You have the flow of the cups. You have the energy of fire, the uh, energy of air with Gemini, and now you're getting Taurus, the earth energy. They're all coming in for you to win, okay? To get this fool going, to get all of this energy, putting it all together to make that puzzle one that is, that makes sense, okay? Right. Okay, so it's very important. Again, you have the clarity of the moon. The moon card is ours, Pisces. Okay? There's a flip side to the moon. The moon is always reflecting light from the sun. It isn't their own light. So it's an illusion. Okay? And it can be a, a source of illusion or delusion. You don't want to be doing this at this time. You want to put light on the situation. The best way you can do with the moon card is to go inside. It is a card of dreams. It is a card of tapping into your dreams and tapping into your inner self. Not falling prey to what is physically being shown, but looking deeper inside of yourself and finding the why. Okay? The why. And this is what this moon card means. Go in, find your why. Because when you find your why, you're going to be able to move to here, okay? Again, you have the devil card here, okay? So don't don't fall into this energy. You have to look inward and find the real reasons that you're going where you're going, okay? gotten this one like all day yesterday and today yeah we did four and four ah eh, here we go okay this is an important time oh and look underneath the deck there you are beautiful Pisces the dreamer the dreamer is back okay so this is a time to really look at this card has come out four times twice yesterday twice today okay very important card the Four of Wands right here is the card. It's the one. Okay? So, these are the mo that's the most important message. You've completed a successful stage. It is time for now to look back, take stock, reflect on where you are and where you want to go. This is just the beginning. You got this combination yesterday as well. Okay, this is your next point of destination. This is where you are now. You're transforming, you're healing. These, this healing card's also there. Okay, you have the temperance card, you have the sun card, you have the choices card, you have the ace of swords that came out in this one for sure. Okay, you're all going towards something very, very 
good Pisces. And you're going to get there. But you've really got to take stock. You have to take a moment, look at where you were, and really reflect on where you want to go next. I hope this, this extended has been really helpful for you. It has for me. Um, the validation of the cards just keep coming out the same ones is really an indication to me that things are moving where they're supposed to and that the message is really clear. Be balanced, Pisces. Make sure that you find that balance, that temperance, okay? Where is that temperance? I saw it. It's right here. It's right here. You know, these messages, they're all just, they're all always repeating themselves. They're validating themselves. And I love this for you. I hope you got a lot from it. If you did, please make sure to subscribe before you take off. Hit that notification bell. I'm sending you lots of love, light, and blessings to you, Pisces. And I will see you in the next reading. Take care now.